Hello everybody. Today I would like to show all of you how to apply scholarship to China. So for this example, I will be show all of you how to apply scholarship to Jinzhou University. So now let me show all of you. So the first we just go into Google and type the set you. Yeah, or Jinzhou University. So for apply scholarship to Jinzhou University, just click on the link above. Yes. So it is the website for Jinzhou University. And then click on the scholarship. Yeah. So the first of all, uh, we have many categories for the scholarship. We have the scholarship will be support our study. It's related to your uh, information for supporting when you are studying in Jinzhou University. And the Chinese government scholarship and related to the program in Chinese program and which program are Yes, and now I just show you how to apply. So first, we go to the China, the Chinese government scholarship, and then for this example, I will be show of you how to apply Chinese government, Chinese government scholarship, Chinese university program. Sorry, and for. Agency code for Jinzhou University is here. And for apply the scholarship to Jinzhou University, we need to apply two. One is for school for Jinzhou University and second for CSC. Here. It's for CSC. So now let me show all of you how to apply with uh, Jinzhou University. So for applying, you click on here or you can click on start application. So now I click on the start application. Okay. So for guide, register, uh, registration guide. If you want to un want to know how to register online, you will you need to follow this step. But now I show all you. So the first, I click on the register. Yes, and you need to re uh, registration agreements. So all you need to understand all this, and then click accept. If you are uh, understand it exactly and then for member register for member register for example my name this is my name and my password sorry my password and it is medium and confirm your password and then uh, your email address and the last one and the last one you verify codes for the MPFA after you fill all this and you click to register so now I don't need to register it again because I has already on this. If you uh, click on the register, you will show us like my uh, my account. So now first I need to put username or email address or pa and password, and then you need to verify your uh, verify codes W U U T and click to 
sign in yes and it is my application form my my account in Jinzhou University so first I click on the application online application so I used to apply it already since uh, 2000 uh, since uh, maybe on yeah time that we I apply I apply on March 14th it is time that apply and is admit and they can and can we use my application as so in here yes so in here and I will uh, tell of you how to apply it step by step we document we need to for uh, apply the scholarship so I will do it but I will tell of you the step to register so it is the step for register we have six steps for register application for Jinzhou University so first family name as the passport it means that uh, if you have a passport name you need to uh, copy from the passport name but I recommend you when you apply the scholarship to Jinzhou University you should have your passport before you apply so it is my uh, last name my family name or last name and it is giving them all my name here and if you have the Chinese name you can you can uh, put over here and then gender male for merit, uh, marital status and married nationality I'm from Cambodia and birth of that it is my birth of that and countries are birth Cambodia and plus I, I was born in the Kha province and natives native language I use Khmer and highest highest levels of education is bachelor and religion Buddhist yeah Buddhist and employers or institutes of affiliate yeah I'm from uh, I, st I used to work in uh, PTNC engineering quality and my occupation uh, is engineer health status is good I was talking about the health status in this email and for address it is my uh, it is the address you do not need to complete it it is automatic from the website sign up address it is address for Jinzhou University and the phone contact now we are talking about the passport and visa so it is the deadlines of my passport on uh, 2028 on 3 on the 12 and you need to fill the forms like as the education background so it is my background for high school and this is the year and the school Panyasatra University of Cambodia or PUC and I got the diploma of the Institute uh, Intense English of Academic Purpose or we call IEP IEP for uh, I study in uh, Panyasatra and then I continue to study a bachelor degree my major is with engineering at Panyasatra so and then after we finish the uh, education background we need to uh, employ the background employment background like from 2014 to 2015 I work as the self consultant and training center at the structural engineer and for 2015 to 2017 I work at BTGC solution as the sub drawing and from 2017 to 2008 I work in a PTNC quality as a thing and then add a document that related for your application so for upload here the photo copies of passport so you need uh, to upload 
your your photocopy of passport as so in the here yeah so here here it is my uh, passport yeah and then you need to upload the bachelor degree before I arrive before I apply this scholarship I am, I am not just graduate at Panyasatra University so I asked to the school to get this form that uh, uh, told the school that I will be finished I will be finished soon before I apply scholarship to China so I use the form for my bachelor degree my bachelor degree and then you need to have official transcript for bachelor degree it means that when you apply the master to the Chinese you have finished in you have finished bachelor degree in your country for example I finished a bachelor degree in my country so I have official transcript from the school my my school so I need to scan it and attach to this website to the website so it is my official transcript yeah so it has uh, three pane okay my official transcript and then we need two letter of recommendation for from professor or associate professor so before you apply you need to ask your advisor or professor that you study in your your school to recommend to you so it is my recommendation from school from my advice my professor the first professor and second professor so i need to scan it and apply uh, upload it to and then for the valid reports of english language proficiency test so during i apply the scholarship to chinese i don't have the TOEFL or iep or uh, other tests that related or equal to TOEFL so i just do my diploma uh, from the panyasatra university i I, I just apply for this and uh, it, it can instead of add a document that equal to the TOEFL or add a test that is similar to the TOEFL and then before you apply you need to have a physical examination report so it's here you need to go to the 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 government to ask to check your your health your physical examination and you need to report it and it's the report to report it and attach the file to the to uh, the website to for if you has any problem with your health you will be can you will you cannot apply this scholarship to i mean that you your your body your health are very good very very good before you apply if you have any problem you cannot apply and one more for the certificates of non critical records so before you apply you need to go to the government yeah like this uh, the bulletins of the criminal code codes number three so you need to go to the ministry of justice to ask them to do the uh, criminal criminals record if you have the problem in your country you will you will not uh, pass your scholarship so it is so important for all of you and then be talking about the uh, application from the Chinese government scholarship with photo and signature 
so this this for this I will tell of you next time like the uh, how to uh, how to register a, a, a CSC website so the first I saw of you how to apply uh, how to register on the uh, view and then I will show you how to up, how to register on how to fill the form for CSC and for this point maybe you need to skip it you skip it until you uh, already fin uh, already register for the CSC website so I will show up you uh, the document that I get from the CSC website. It's it is uh, similar to such as you. We saw you soon. Okay, and then document uh, supporting document or other document it is if you have a training course or work experience you can attach for this this part so now I show you all of you how uh, my, this is my, the form that I get from CSC uh, Chinese Scholarship Council Council yes this is the form that I have to uh, uh, see the form and you will be get it too when you uh, finish uh, register on the CSC website. So it is the document that uh, from the CSC website. So in this step, you need to keep for these steps. For this step, you need to keep it until you finish register at CSC website. Now we are talking about the English proficiency. Yes, here. So my English proficiency is I tell the school I am good, but actually it's not really so good. But you, I mean that you have to show your your ability to the school. So I just put good, and then added language proficiency i just put diploma my diploma so like i told you you need to get the score from the TOEFL, gmat or g or e or i e l s t it is the uh the score you you need to put it on it but i add the doc add the language that i just got from school diploma and then be talking about the study plan English type program so for my bachelor degree I have the program I study master degree students and department I study uh, uh, my major is uh, management science and engineering and research field um, in Chinese not yet research field in English I'm not yet told because I, before you arrive well, before you pass a scholarship, you not yet to know what is your topic or what is your research field. I based on my management science and engineering, but I don't know which topic that uh, I need to uh, do it. So I just skip it. And then my advisor name is Chen Juan. Yeah, my and my advisor is Chen Juan, and my advisor contact is Chen Juan at .edu and for teaching language I use we, we feel English I start the year it automatically three years for the master degree three year and for doctor or for, for PhD four years and it is the duration that I study in Chinese that we apply from 2018 until 2021 so it will be finished on it and for source internal students and it is the uh, the name of the recommend by my 
my uh, teacher, Dr. Hong Wu Thies, and related with applicate is those at Dean's of School of Civil Engineering organization. I from uh, Panyasatra University of Cambodia. My phone number, I don't know, for it. Here is phone number for uh, my teacher and email nationality Cambodia job professor and address. Now we are talking the family stat status. Family status. So family status, my father's name is Ken Khon, phone address, email address, and position as, as well. Mother, as shown here. For legal records, if you have legal record, you say over oh, here yes. We had the button for for modify it, but now it is I just saw all of you on my the uh, my application that I used to apply. So I say no, no illegal record. If you have illegal record, maybe you cannot pass your scholarship. Another mean a financial supporter. So it here for financial supporter in my province and my country this is my uncle and the telephone organization a form farmer and it is the address and email address and for emergency contact for emergency contact name I contact with my sister the phone number phone number at my hometown email address organization his senior students and uh, my home address yeah and then we're talking about the home country address home country address it is my hometown province a field of land I may be over here I may be a computer when I apply the scholarship because here please fill the blank in Chinese if you are in Chinese if you are no if you are stay in Chinese you need to keep in blank but it is my address in my country so now I need to put all at this address too so current postal address site as home country address it's so uh, my personal email address it is my personal address and uh, Facebook link in shoo shoo and then put on over here so and how to collect admission notes collect the university in personal so for register Jinjo university you have to follow on six six step to to succeed in so the the most important in over here the first you need to have the passport and bachelor degree certificate uh, transcript bachelor degree two recommendation you need to have the study plan you have to the certificate from just English site as I saw all of you like uh, like TOEFL, GMT, AT, GORE, or IELTS, IELTS. So you need to have, but over there, I don't have this. This, uh, sorry. I don't have all of this, but I just have other like the diploma. Diploma in my school, it similar equal to IEL. ST or other so I use this like this diploma certificate so we need to use the diploma certificate and a physical examination report yes and the certificates of non criminal record application form from a Chinese government with the photo and signature at least every so of you next time and other document so after you finish it but you are waiting for attach other uh, file you just have the file for sale but now we don't have the tool for it because I used to apply it so I just show up you my uh, sample here and so it's when you done all you need to uh, 
check and double check check and double check for all information before you send to the school and send to the CSC so now for example if I'm not yet to complete it all just save it and and lock out and lock out just lock out and it will be you, you should be keep here save your account over there like my email address my password I just lock with the with the verify codes so when I go to my my account again I just log in and I can modify all my my information from my uh, from the website so you can modify anything before you apply but now I used to apply it already so I I, I cannot edit any information from my account so uh, thank you for your watching and uh, for next video I will show all of you how to apply CSC uh, app application form thank you for watching